Hey everyone, Linda here. Welcome back to Adora. I hope everyone's having a good day and staying safe out there. Coming to you with my February wrap-up. As you all know, I was doing the Black uh, Black Author Readathon. Um, and I didn't finish all my books. Uh, if you looked at my TBR for March, I took some of the books that I had for the Black Author Readathon and put them on my March TBR. But I did finish four books. So I've only read four books for February. And all of these were written by black authors. First up I have uh, Naima Simone and it's Blame It on the Billionaire. I really really enjoyed this. I gave this four stars. Uh, this was on Grayson Chandler and I think the female name was Nadia. And they meet when he's at a, a party that his parents are throwing and this is on an interracial couple. and. He's at a party and what her name is, Nadia gets called to the party by her boss. And her boss is work for uh, Grayson. Uh, and they're at, I guess, it's, I think it's a party thrown by his parents or a business uh, party. I don't forget, but it was a party. <laughs> I put it like that. They were at a party and his parents were there and his, his mother is on his, his mother is on him about getting married because she want him to get married and he walks out of the party and Nadia he meets Nadia because her boss has called her out of, I think he wastes something on his shirt or something something happened and he calls Nadia on her night off to bring him something so she's on her way there and they meet in the hallway and all of a sudden the lights go they have a blackout and the lights go out and they they were just talking in the um in the hallway and the lights go out and they and something end up happening between them two she knows who he is but he doesn't know who uh she is because like i said she and her boss work for um grace's company and he's seen her before but you know how you're seen but not seen yeah <laughs> if you're not important you're seen but you're not seen because he's seen her before and she has she's been uh having a she had a crush on him anyway and uh but he he doesn't remember her so he doesn't know who she is but she knows um that he's he is her boss's boss and he owns the company that she worked for so that's how they meet and said it, something ends up happening between them two and she ends up leaving uh and he didn't get her telephone number and i don't even i don't know if she gave him her real name or not but it, Anyway, they end up meeting again at the company because he's coming into work and he's getting ready to get on the elevator. And then she comes in and she's talking to the uh, guy at the front desk. I guess he's a security guard or something. And Grayson uh, hears her voice and he he turns around and it's her. And he go over there and they start talking and he's upset because he, she was like he was like you knew who I was all the time, and she told him you know you know me too but you just didn't remember me, and so they are, they are getting into it and then his mother and his ex girlfriend walk in, he ends up saying that uh, Nadia is his fiance and they are going together so that's what this whole story is going to be about if you like uh, fake fiancés. Uh, this will be for you and if you like uh naima simone i think you're i really really enjoyed this this is my first book by her i really really enjoyed this i gave this four stars so i'm gonna go back and see can i find her first first books that she's written for harlequin desire and i think this is going to be in a this is in a series uh i don't this is the black blackout billionaire series and i think it's going to be different authors in this series i might go back and uh read some more books in this series i don't know but i know i want to read some other books by naima simone i really really enjoyed this highly highly recommend it if you like if you don't mind reading category romances because this is a harlequin desire and it was only let's see how many pages it got here only 219 pages um uh, if you don't mind that and you don't mind reading the little category romance i highly highly recommend it and that's not Emma simone blame it on the billionaire i really really enjoyed it and then i have a tony washington the doctor's private visit um this one i gave three and a half stars it, it took me forever yeah you know i don't like dnf in books and then I, I feel like i can't start another book till i finish <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, till I finish the one I'm already out. Yeah, I'm all messed up because, yeah, that's why I never get through a book because I be trying. I like, I got to finish this book before I start another one. No, just go ahead and start another one, Linda. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be doing the most. But anyway, I gave this three stars. And this is on um, Capri Timmons and Tiberius. Uh, I forgot what his last name is. But he's a doctor and she's a photographer. And they meet when she rents out because he owns some property. He owned the house next door to where he live at. And he's renting it out. And um, she's trying to move out into the city, to the suburbs. And she ends up renting the house next door to him. And it's all about them getting together and because she has stated that she don't want to have sex before she get married. She want to get married and then she'll have sex. So that's going to be their contention right there because, yeah, she uh, she's going to meet that because she never met anybody. She actually wanted to have sex with before until she met Tiberius. And now they're getting to know each other because at first it's like we're just going to be friends because he don't believe in marriage or nothing like that. So that's going to be their contention. And it was okay. It just didn't catch my interest enough to keep me interested. Till I was like, wanted to, you know, because I could have put this down and moved on. Because, yeah, the characters didn't, uh, I didn't connect with the characters that much. I could have put it down and moved on to another book. But I forced myself. I did finish it. And like I said, I give it three stars. It was okay. Uh, if you like a Tonya a a Washington, um, check out the doctor's private visit. It's okay. Like I said, I gave it three stars. It wasn't bad, but the, the characters just didn't gr grab me and take me through the book with them. I didn't feel like I was part of the, you know, sometimes you can read a book and you feel like you're part of the story because you're interested in it and you want your, your um, care about the characters. No, I didn't. I didn't care about the characters in this book. And yeah, it didn't do it for me. And this is a uh, and this is a Kamani romance uh, by Antonia Washington. This is the Doctor Private Visit. It was okay. I, I'll give it three stars. Next, I have Beverly Jenkins Midnight. I finished this. This is historical. I really, really enjoyed this. I gave this four stars. This is on um, Faith Faith Kingston and Nicholas Gray. And I really, really enjoyed this. If you have read Beverly, Beverly Jenkins before, you know her novels is very uh, informative historically because she has some stuff in here that I was like, really, that happened? It made me want to go and, you know, do research on it and look it up and see what's going on with this because cause these these are on, um, this story is on free blacks. And you hardly ever hear about too many uh, historicals on the free back, usually dealing with slavery or something. They did talk, discuss slavery in here, but that wasn't the main topic. The main topic in here is that faith is, um, is about America trying to get free from British rule. Um, they are patriots or they are rebel because she's a spy for the patriots. And, but her father owns a, her father owns a tavern and she works in the tavern with her father and she meets um, Nicholas when Nicholas come back because he's been traveling the world because he ended up getting kidnapped and working for the uh, working for the British. They kidnapped because back in them days they could kidnap people and, and and put them into service. So he got kidnapped and put into service for the British because he I forgot what he was off doing. He was somewhere else and then he got kidnapped and to work for the British but he ended up escaping from them and he ended up on a pirate ship so he was working on a pirate ship they were doing smuggling and stuff and that's why he has all the money that he has because he come back to see his father and he find out that his father has died and his father died because the British had arrested him because they were saying that he was a rebel or a patriot you know he was going against British rule so he got arrested and put on a ship and he didn't make it off that ship because you know he was an older guy and he didn't make it so um, Nicholas when he finds that out he want to find out who uh, told the British about his father and I really enjoyed it because it telling about free blacks they were part of the uh, revolution of trying to uh, get emancipation from uh, the British. And like I said, she was a spy. Them fighting for the rebels, trying to get emancipation from the British is going to be a contention. And also something between uh, Nicholas father and Faith. Faith father and Nicholas father 
has always got into it before and it's, it you want to find out why why were they uh so mad because it don't tell you at first you have to keep reading before you find out why faith and uh nicholas father were into it and nicholas trying to find out um who ratted on his father and like and him and faith meet when they're having some kind of meeting and um nicholas show up with one of the guys who brought him uh one of the guys he know brings him to the meeting and he see faith there and he's very interested in her and that's how they meet and this story was very very interesting i like learning about free blacks during that time i wish we had more historicals on free blacks instead of you always hearing about uh blacks that were in slavery because there were free blacks back then i would like to hear their story how they made it and you know how they were helping uh people uh who were in slavery to get out of slavery i would like to hear more uh stories on that but i highly recommend this story right here if you don't like reading about slavery or whatever there's none of that in this book they talk about it but you don't see any of it in this book because all of the blacks in this books are free blacks i think they're in um in the north they're in Boston, I think, or if they're not in Boston, they're somewhere on the outskirts of Boston. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. Highly, highly recommend it. If you want to read a historical that's not uh, with black characters, that's not dealing with slavery uh, as the main point, highly, highly recommend Midnight by Beverly Jenkins. I gave it four stars. Uh-oh. And the last book. This is my favorite book out of the whole uh, bunch of, of the four books that I read. And it's Hookshot by Kennedy Ryan. This book with these characters, uh, Kenan Ross and what was her name? Her name is Lotus. And this is in a three book series. If you don't like reading out order, you might want to go and start with the first book, which is, uh, let's see here. It should be, hopefully it's in here. I hope I can find it. Long Shot. Long Shot is book number one. And then you got Block Shot is book number two. And Hook Shot is book number three. But I don't mind reading books out of order. It doesn't bother me. So I started with Hook Shot. I gave this a four, a half, four and a half stars. I really, really enjoyed this because the sexual tension between these two characters was off the charts. I was like, can y'all just go and get together? Because y'all about to drive me nuts. <laughs> <laughs> and Lotus and Keenan, they've met before because they meet in, I don't know if they meet in book one or book two, but they've met before because uh, I think one of the guys in the other books are going to be in the hospital and he uh, he played basketball with one of the guys, I think at the first book. And uh, one of the guys is in the hospital and I think um, Keenan is at the hospital to see him and Lotus walks in and they have eye contact. But I, I didn't read the first, like I said, I didn't read the first book. It just tells you in here how they first met. And she knew that there was something between them. But she she never did try to, uh, you know, talk to him because she didn't want to get involved or anything. And when they meet, she has sworn off sex. She said she's not having sex anymore. So that's why they have so much sexual tension. So, and there's also some trigger warnings in here. I think it's trigger warnings of sexual abuse and trigger warnings of suicide. And I just, if you haven't read this, you need to check it out because, like I said, the sexual tension will be between them two and the banter between. You know, I love a book with good dialogue, good banter between the two main characters. Loved it. Highly, highly recommend it. Give it four and a half stars and that hook shot. I don't know if I explained that right because I was kind of like excited because <laughs> this was my favorite book. For February was Hook Shot by Kennedy Ryan. Highly, highly recommend it. But like I said, if you don't like reading books out of order, you need to start with the first book, which is Long Shot. And then you got Block Shot is book number two. And this is book number three with Keenan Ross and Lot oh, Lot here her name is right here. Lotus Dupree. Really, 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 really loved it. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. So that's all um, I read for February. I enjoyed uh, three books out of that haul. And like I said, I took the rest of the books that I had for my, because I had more uh, books on the Black Author Readathon TBR. I had more books than this, but I only read um, 
four of them and the other I put on my Mars TV. If you see my Mars TBR, I uh, stayed on there that I'm putting the rest of the books on my Mars TBR. So, and I enjoyed these three. These were my favorite out of the four books that I read, but this one right here, yeah, hook shot. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> And this is the only, I gave all the rest of them four in the four star range. And I gave this one three stars. So those are my February reads. And I also had some, uh, I went downstairs and I was looking on my dress. I was like, cause I thought I had got all the books that I wanted to put on my March TBR, TBR, but obviously I didn't cause I found these right here left over that I wanted to put on there so I'm gonna go over those with you um I add this this is Michelle Willingham to sin with a Viking and this was already on the TBR I had left it off so this was uh already on my TBR from last year so I'm just putting it on my TBR for March I probably won't get to it in in March it'll go on over to um uh, April but this is I'm adding this to my TBR also Elizabeth Holt to desire a devil Adding that to my TBR. It's a historical. This is a Holoquin historical. And this is just a historical. Next, I got this in my... Uh, was it last for February? I got this for February in my uh, Romantic Reveal book box. I had to put this on there. This sounded too good. Betrayed. Yeah, I think somebody... Uh, did she find... Oh, her... The heroine's... Uh, roommate was cheating with her husband or her bit oh her best friend was cheating with her i was like was cheating with her husband and i they end up getting a divorce this sounded really really good i was like let me put this on my march tbr and that's betrayed by ak evans got to get that on there and i also had this on my t i've had this on my tbr for a while it's a uh, pestilence by laura the losses so i had to put that on i had left this off so this will be on my march tbr so i got i'm adding Four more books to my March TBR. Yeah, I might not get to them. I'll just move them on over to uh, April. And I also got a small little book haul here. So my video won't be so short. Um, Carrick and Brian has come out with a new book. If you like Carrick and Brian, if you didn't know, she got a new book out. It's The Devil in Her Bed. Uh, so she's just an automatic buy for me. Uh, I'm just collecting her books. And this is in the, uh, this is probably in a series. I don't know what series this is, but if it is in a series, I will link that below, uh, in the description below. But there you go. I just got it. The Devil in Her Bed by Carrick and Bry. I, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing her last name right, but there you go. And I just went to Walmart today and I saw this. Look at this cover. I had to do it. Stay, uh, Stalked by Secrets, a Holoquin romantic, romantic suspense by Deborah Fletcher Melo, or Milo, Melo, Deborah Fletcher Melo, Stalked by Secrets. Look at that cover. Love it. I read the synopsis. It's, it didn't catch my interest too much, but this cover, yeah, this is cover by people. And I hope the book is good because the synopsis didn't catch my interest. But I hope it's good when I read it. I hope it surprises me. But love that cover. Next I got The Spencer and the Rake. I also got this from Walmart by Eva Devon. The Spencer and the Rake. A historical. And I had to pick this up because I know a lot of people said the second book in the Bridgerton series is really, really good. So I saw this at Walmart and I picked it up. The Vast Count Who Loved Me. So I was like, let me get it and try it out. So that's all I have for now. That's my little, small little book haul. I had four... <laughs> I have four books that I read in February, four books that I uh, just picked up and did a haul on, and four books that I'm going to add to my Mars TBR. So I'm four, I'm fouring it all out today. So that's all I have for now. Uh, continue to enjoy your day. Continue to stay safe and be careful out there. And until next time, keep reading those romances, and I'll see you all later. Bye.